Three years ago, I tried to live in the early 2000s for a week, but that didn't work out well due to the fact I was only limited to like a few activities. Plus, I didn't go outside unless it was for school and I had no access to the internet at all. So you can see how just watching movies and playing video games for four days can get really old. But now things are different. I have access to the whole decade and my room looks a lot more better themed and I have an 07 Corolla. I mean, I think I'm set. So without further ado, this is take two of me trying to live in the 2000s for a week. One of the first things I did was get a calendar, because I gotta write down when I'm going to work. I can't check my phone anymore. But with social media being a lot more relevant later on in the decade, it was basically vital that I would have it in this test. Now unfortunately, I don't have an old desktop that has Windows 7, so I downloaded VirtualBox to run a virtual machine on my computer. But unfortunately, my Windows 7 wasn't working for some reason, so I have to resort to this. <laughs> Sorry. Whenever I use the internet, I can only use YouTube, Facebook, and yeah. MySpace. Also, I re-downloaded Skype in case anyone wanted to talk to me through voice chat. And then it was time to do some finishing touches and remove some uh, newer friends of mine. So goodbye PS5, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Wii U, Apple Watch, MacBook, Air Rods, and flat screen. Just, uh, 30 seconds away. And, um, it's begun. So, the first time that I did it, uh, I use my phone in airplane mode to document the whole thing. But now things are different, and I'm gonna put it in my closet, because this time I'm gonna use a very special camera. This was the first camera that I've ever owned, actually. I got it back in 2008. Oh, let's fix this. Now I think we're ready for the week. <laughs> So yeah, um, I guess in the morning I'll see you guys and we'll, we'll start doing stuff, hopefully. Hey guys, welcome to the 2000s! So over here we have all of our um, sort of late 2000s stuff. So yeah, we've got Fallout 3 rolling, got an iPod. Unfortunately, I can't use my flip phone because, I don't know, they weren't able to like connect it, so I can't call anyone. We have the older stuff over here. I don't really have any games on the GameCube, so I didn't set that up. Uh, but yeah, we have Vice City rolling right now. It's really bright. And then this is the place where uh, all the magic happens. Um, and right now, Mr. Brightside is playing. Yeah, I got some 2000 snacks. Yeah, we got Capri Sun, we got Doritos. So usually to start off the day, I go out for a walk. And of course I play some music. One of the things I already started to miss was my library of music. We have access to every single song ever made basically in our pocket. But now I'm only limited to around a thousand and this isn't my library. So most of these songs aren't my taste. Also, if I want to adjust the volume of the music, I can no longer search my pocket for the volume. I have to take the iPod out and change the volume. One thing I didn't even realize was that you could hear the music I was listening to. I didn't know this until I checked my b-roll footage, and that really sent me back to the times when, yeah, you could hear other people's music. Other than that, the rest of the day I just played some games. Imagine being this poor janitor guy, you're kind of just like doing your job and boom. You're gone. The days that followed, I was at work mostly. But funny enough, the technology there is super old. Like, the computers are still running Windows 7. So that still helped my case. I will say this, though, about work. When I was on break or about to clock in and I was just listening to music, there was such a weird, just nostalgic feeling about just listening to music and staring out the window instead of just using your device while listening to music. It felt like you were more in the moment. Here we go. We know what's next. Coming soon to theater. Oh man, how nostalgic am I right? But yeah, when I got home, I just put on Finding Nemo. I have honestly not seen this film since like 2008, which is insane to think. But it's also fresh in my mind because I've seen it like every single day for like half of my life. All right, day two is done. Today is no work day. Tomorrow's no work day, so I have to find something to do. Probably just schoolwork and basically everything I've been doing before. And then for the last two days, I'm kind of lucky because I'll be working for most of the day, so I won't have to worry about finding things to do. So yeah, the thing that stood out the most about that day is that I was just speedrunning Portal. Uh, I don't know what the record is officially for 2009. I don't even remember what the regular record is, but yeah. 
I guess, guess we'll see how we'll do. The first time I had to pause in between so the time wasn't really accurate, so I went through the whole game again. Here we go! An hour and two minutes, baby. Yes! I mean, it's not a record. But yeah, the day after was basically the same, walking, playing games, yeah. I also miss, um, having the option to choose my own music. Because now I'm just limited to a thousand songs, and a thousand isn't really as much as I thought it would be. So, yeah. So, yeah, nothing interesting happened following that. I had work. Although Kanye came on the radio, which is rare. Yeah, so long I've been on ya. But, yeah, that was basically the week. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess. Get back to basics. I want to see how many notifications I got on my phone because it's been on airplane mode the whole week. We're gonna turn off airplane mode. Here we go. Oh, I guess no one cares about. It. Just imagine. Here we go. Yeah, it's there. Yep. Overall, unlike last time when it was mentally painful, I really enjoyed myself this time. Yeah, I was definitely missing some stuff, but I didn't really feel hollow. I guess the reason it worked this time is because I was leaving my place, and I had other things to do than just play games and watch movies, because that's not the only thing that people were doing back then. I didn't really use Facebook or MySpace.